This is Day or Night Exotics TV. I'm Del Denight, and this is Trinity Pocleotheria Sophusca Highland, the ivory ornamental. I rehoused this uh, beautiful tea into this 10 gallon tank, and I'm going to speak on the 10 gallon tank first before we get into the feeding. The 10 gallon tank idea for me has always been one that I've, I've kind of always had the mindset with any of my animals especially when it comes to my spiders that in the wild there are no restrictions they and there are no borders they can go anywhere they want and if they're not stressed out in the wild which they've been on this earth a lot longer than any human if they're not stressed out in the wild a lot of people say you know if you put them in something too big they get stressed out too small they get stressed out it has to be that goldilocks zone where it's just right in my experience knowing my teas on an individual basis is how i house them she is a walker she moves around all the time this tank she uses all the time i actually have done this before with a few other of my teas um, i don't always film it uh, because it is controversial people don't want you to, to put them in, in something this size but it's a 10 gallon tank when you think about it it's really not that big once you fill it up it looks bigger when it's empty once you fill it in it actually is not that big at all and as this tea grows uh, she'll fill into it nicely she won't be in here forever after another couple of months i'll be putting her into a exotero nano which is what I prefer for my pokies once they get out of their uh, juvenile stage and kind of into their adult uh, uh, stage. Just like my peach triata was in the Exeter Nano. She's, it's a little bit small for her now, but she'll be upgrading to a larger one. But I prefer the Exeter Nano vertical setup for my adult pokies. But for right now, uh, she was rehoused from this little candy container. It was a little plastic candy container. Uh, I never really felt like she liked that container. She moved around a lot, webbed up a lot. She doesn't like light, obviously, uh, like most pokies. Um, so I don't see her often. She'll dart back down in her little barrel. But this enclosure provides her with plenty of places to hide and plenty of places for her to uh, stretch her legs and walk around. Um, again, you know, having a tank open like this and wanting to fill it up as we watch her uh, take down uh, some food here. Having her in a tank like this gives me an opportunity to be able to see her a lot more. I never saw her in the smaller the container. If they burrow and web up, you're really not going to see anything. Uh, this gives me an opportunity to actually be able to enjoy her for a little bit, you know, before she actually uh, starts hiding again. And again, she comes out all the time. My room is dark probably 75% of the week. The reptile room, which I keep my tarantulas in, the same room that my... Uh, my uh, reptiles in which i might be changing in the future i'll probably go back to having a separate tarantula room as i did before a few years ago now that i'm going to start rebuilding my tarantula collection um but i had downsized so they kind of fit nicely in there but uh she is a gorgeous gorgeous animal i named her trinity because my three favorite pokies is the p Metallica, the p ornata and the pizza fusca highland and she was kind of the last piece of that little uh trinity a trilogy you know trilogy of, of uh, teas so I decided to name her Trinity. Uh, she has not been sexed yet. I'm referring to her as she, but she has not been officially sexed yet. And uh, I'm really happy she has been growing a little bit on the slower side if she is a male. Uh, I got her about three years ago. So I'm, she's getting to the point where she's going to mature out. It's going to be very soon. Um, she doesn't molt very often. And I've I'm, I'm really been enjoying her uh, when I can see her. She's not a big eater at all. I mean, the fact that she took... A couple of worms on this video and stayed out in the light was really shocking. Um, she her temperament is, is unbelievable. I mean, she doesn't have an aggressive bone in her body. She's not even flighty. She's not defensive. Uh, just like my peach triata. I mean, both of those are just as simple um, as can be. I mean, they're just really laid back and just really want to be left alone. And this one in particular, she just loves to explore, walk around and web up and do her thing so she'll be in here for another couple months like i said and then she'll be going to her exeter nano but this gives me uh, an opportunity when i rehoused her to really get some good footage of her because i've never really been able to get anything on her uh because she's always burrowing she sees light she's gone so uh this is really rare i mean right after this footage she went down and started immediately um walking around the enclosure checking everything out and then she chose a spot pretty close to where she's at now webbed it up and is already kind of incorporating the branches and everything into her new little home and uh when she's not in there she's out walking about and that's awesome and that's exactly what i wanted she's using it exactly the way i thought she would use it again knowing her personality as versus just going off 
you know, the species, you know, that a Pocleotheria a species has to have a vertical setup, you know, in a, you know, in a vertical tank, you know, that's, of course, that's the preferred method. If you're a beginner, go with that method. That is the preferred method. That way you don't have to worry about it. Uh, and you don't have to worry about anybody getting on you. But for me, I've been doing, dealing with tarantulas long enough and I've had her long enough where I know she likes this better than being cramped up. So it worked out for her. And again, if you're a beginner, do your research and, uh, uh, you won't go wrong. I'll see you guys next time. Take care.